All right, folks. Your lab this week is all about geologic maps. So last week we looked at topographic maps, which is a way of looking at what the landscape looks like. And this time we're going to add the rocks in, and we're going to compare the two of them together. Um, and so there's two major files you're going to need, and I want to sort of show you what these look like, because they can be a little fussy just because they're both really big files. So the ones you're going to need are going to be the geologic map of Arizona. You can see that here on the left side of my screen under my places. And you'll also need the NGS Topo US2. This is one of my favorite files that I've got because it's actually topographic maps for the entire U.S., which is great. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on this geologic map. Now you notice it's going to take a little while, so we're going to be patient with it. But what you'll see is all sorts of different colors are popping up. And what each one of those colors represent is actually a different type of rock that you can find um, somewhere in Arizona. Um, this is created by the Arizona Geological Survey, and you'll be using some of their other resources as we go. It's going to keep loading, but I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. So we're going to come into the, the Phoenix metro area, since that's where a lot of us are. You may or may not be. Um, so if we look, there's some easy things to recognize. For one, these kind of light yellow colors, those are the valleys. That's the nice flat places where people tend to live. And then the colorful stuff, at least down here, are going to be our mountain systems. So if we look here, here is South Mountain. And what this tells us is South Mountain is basically two big rock types. Oop, there it goes. So you have a rock type that's labeled TG, and you have a rock type that's labeled XM. Right now, how you're going to figure out what those mean, that is on your explanation of the map units. Those are here. This is actually in Canvas for you already. So if we look, scroll through down, um, here is TG. So this was the kind of eastern part of South Mountain. And that tells us it is granite to diorite represented solidified magma chambers. Um, so this is kind of exciting. Um, and if you look, the symbols are actually pretty important. So the big T means that these are actually tertiary in age. And you're going to do a little practicing on this. There's a, ch a chart a couple pages back in the module that explains where those come from. And the little G probably just means granite, since that's what granite's made out of. All right, so that is fairly young, geologically speaking. Those were in place 14 to 26 million years ago. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom of the list, there's that XM. That was the other side of South Mountain. Now these are early Proterozoic metamorphic rocks. So all sorts of stuff that's been metamorphosed. And if you look, that uh, 1600 to 1800 MA, MA stands for mega annum. That means millions of years. So in this case, these rocks are 1.6 to 1.8 billion years old. So these are pretty old there. Um, and so how these are set up, if you notice, looking at the ages, the stuff at the bottom of the list here, this is going to be your oldest rocks. In geology, the oldest rock is always at the bottom. And as we scroll up, they get younger and younger and younger and younger. So that's how you can tell how old something is, is just based on that. I'm going to bring our map back up here. So you can see, kind of this side is much younger than the kind of southwest part of the mountain. All right, and you can kind of zoom around and look at all sorts of stuff. You're going to be looking at Camelback Mountain um, for part of this. And Google Earth makes it easy because if you're looking for an area, you can actually search for it that way. Um, so in this case, that's how you're going to need to, to actually figure out what these rocks are. Or go back, is go back to those that chart. Um, in the module, you also have this online for you. Um, if you scroll, I'm going to go into the bottom, kind of move my way through the module here. You can actually access this geologic map on the Arizona Geological Survey. Uh, apparently, my browser does not like that particular page, but here we go. You can open it up here. These are kind of handy if you do it this way, because if you click on it, it'll actually tell you what it is. So this is um, middle, late to middle Miocene basaltic rocks, so lava flows. And then in that case, that's TB. So in this case, the unit uh, symbol isn't actually on the map. But if you look, you can see this is actually overlaid on topography too. So you can see that that kind of uh, relationship between the two of them. So you should be able to use either one of these to answer any questions in today's lab. The nice thing is you can kind of zoom in on things. 
Um, and at least on Google Earth, this is searchable. All right, let me pull up Google Earth again. So I'm going to turn that one off for right now. Um, the other map you need is this topo map. Now notice I click that and nothing happens. This is a really, really big file. So it's one you might want to make sure and don't keep in your My Plate uh, places permanently. Maybe just reload it, save it on your computer and load it up. Um, so to make this happen, what you want to do is zoom out. You want to be able to see that whole globe. Now notice it's changing colors. That tells me that my topo map uh, file is all loaded now. I know it's a pain in the butt, but I do it every time I have to load it too. I just, the file is too nice to have to argue with otherwise. Um, but give it time. And yours may go a little faster than mine. It depends on your internet connection. And also just how much stuff you have over here in your My Places folder, since I have a lot. It takes a lot for my Google Earth to render out, which is another reason to keep that kind of clear. Um, so you can see as we zoom in, those are loading, those are loading, loading some more, loading some more. It's coming. Here it goes. Yeah, so like I said, just be patient. And the more you zoom in, actually the better the resolution you're gonna get. And you can see different maps kind of load um, until eventually, you're going to zoom in enough that it's actually going to download the USGS seven and a half minute maps. These are sort of the, the standard that a lot of people work off of um, are these maps here. Now some of these are kind of old um, so you'll notice if I turn off the roads like the 202 and the 101 aren't even on this map at all. It actually was created before then. If you look over here it's still a river <laughs> running through Tempe versus Tempe Town Lake. So this actually predates that but the good news is the mountains don't change very much. <clears throat> so don't be afraid to kind of tool around and look around and see what you can find. See what some of those mountains look like. Um, and so just like last time we looked at these the closer the topo lines are together, the steeper the slopes are. So you can see those nice steep slopes right through here in the Santans. You can see a little bit more gentle slopes coming off of there where those rocks are kind of eroding away. And then out here in the middle of the valley where it's nice and flat out here. Um, so yeah, I don't think you should have too many problems with this lab. It's a pretty fun one. I happen to really like geologic maps. I think they're a lot of fun and I hope you do too.